Good morning! Welcome to SCADA World YouTube channel. Today I have something about the picture windows, one picture window, second, third, etc. and how to change the static text output value from the third window inside each other. So we will have the one picture window. So we will have the picture window. Inside this picture window, we will display the second picture window. Yeah. And on this element, we will have some, let's say, static text or IO field. And after I click the button, for example, mm, here, this is the button. I want to change the value on this screen. So we will have the picture window inside the second picture window and I want to change, after I click something, the button, the static text elements or the IO fields. So let's start. I have my WinCC Explorer. I will make the new picture. For example, this one will be the overview. This one will be the first one. The second one will be, for example, the second picture. So inside my overview picture, I want to install some other pictures. So. I have my overview picture. My overview picture can be mm, no global scam, so it's just great. And I can change some geometry of this. Okay, so this is small picture. And inside this, I will put the picture window from the right side. And I will install this picture name. I will make the second this is my picture name so after i make the control plus double click so i opened the second picture window this one should be for example smaller so it will be something like that and the effects the global color scam can be for example also no and I will put the yellow color or maybe the green is better. Okay, so I will have this picture window inside second picture window. And on this picture window, I want to have, for example, the static text. Text. Okay, so this text, the font, the XY alignment. So I have text. I will change the object name for this. For example, IO static. Static text. So I will know that in this second PDL window, I have a static text with IO static text name. Okay, so now we have picture windows. We can start our WinCC runtime and see that our picture windows are running correctly. Okay, so I have my big overview picture. Inside this I have a green. And in this green I have additional static text. Okay, so until now we are having the things that we need. Okay, so now after I click the button, for example, the button is, is here. Click me. Okay, so I have a click button and this click button should change this static text on this screen. Okay, so 
how to find this? Let's say we can use the Visual Basic script or C Action script to get this. I will show you the Visual Basic script today and in next video I will show you also how to make this with C Action. Okay, so we have the Visual Basic script action. Okay, so on left button down I need to change something. Okay, so I want to change something from the screen, screen, screen. So for me, the object, we need to define some object and we need to set object as HME runtime dot screens. Okay, so we have the screen. After this, I have overview picture. Overview, uh, overview, picture. Okay, so I have overview picture. Yes, and on this overview picture, I have also a another picture. So I can say that I have the screen items for example this screen item is picture window 1 ok so until now my object reference to this object the picture window let's check the name picture window first this is the same name. Okay, events, press left. And this is the same. So I will copy paste to make sure ah, we do the space. Good. So now the first step we can be object dot. And now I have, for example, the mm, visible. And I can say that I want to hide this layer. Okay, so let's start. After I click this, this picture window should disappear. Okay, so we did the first step. The second step is that inside this picture window, I have another picture. So I can say that on overview picture PDL, I have a picture window that contain reference to second PDL. Okay, let's try this. So on the overview picture, I have picture window one. So I will put here, I have the picture window one that reference to how the name is second okay let's try this second okay so on this i have a screen item i o static text as we did on the beginning static text Okay, so now after I click this button, I should have the object visible static text should disappear. Okay, let's try this. Runtime. Click. Okay, so as you see, we did the correspond the overview plus picture window plus static text reference. Okay, so we can go with next step also. So I can say that this button is not about the visible option. I want to have the text option. For example, this will be, this is my click static. Okay, so after I click this, 
I should have the different value on this element. Whoa, it's working. I need to change some IO field detail. So we will have the same options. Okay, so after I run this again, this is my clicked static text. Okay, so you see right now that we have picture inside picture inside picture and you can have I don't remember how much but it's about 10 deep layers so you can have the picture inside picture inside picture inside picture etc and etc so it's really nice to have this possibility inside your SCADA so after you click something you can open this picture window and you can assign some new values some new properties to your projects okay thanks for watching see you in next video don't forget to subscribe to this channel see you bye